What's up amazing ballroom dancers, Alexi is here and welcome back to Ballroom with Alexi. Today I'm super excited to share with you four different types of lockstep in cha-cha-cha, four different ways on how you can dance the lockstep. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, before we'll start, I would like to point that this whole idea of differentiating the lock steps comes from very well-known, very respected, very charismatic coach from Russia. His name is Ilya Danilov. He is the coach of world champions, WDSF world champions, Armen Saturian and Svetlana Godina. I'm pretty sure you guys know this couple. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave a link to a Ilya Danilov's lecture. So please make sure to go check it out. All right, guys, so personally, I really love the idea that there is no right or wrong way to dance. There is only effective or not effective. So those four types of lock steps, they all serve a different purpose. That's why they're going to be more effective in the different situations. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna demonstrate all four of those lock steps and then we're gonna dive into each one of those individually. Okay, let's do it. And two and three and four and five and six and seven. Two and three and four and five and six and seven. Two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight and nine and ten. Two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And two and three and four. Five, six, seven, eight, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, guys, so now I would like to remind you to refresh that the core idea in cha-cha, core thing which makes cha-cha different than any other dance, is that staccato action, right? Staccato means, translation from Italian is detached, sharp, separate action. Pam, 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 one, two, three, four, right? So music in cha-cha is the staccato music, okay? So our goal is to show the staccato actions in our body, in our feet, knees, and hips, if it's possible. So now, on opposite side from staccato, we have a legato, which means put together, connected and smooth. One, two, three, four, right? So, usually we use legato, as I said, in the contrast, just to show the difference, because sometimes it gets too boring when it's only one action, only one Thing is showing. So first two lock steps, progressive and merengue, will go under the staccato action and I will explain you why. Other two, third and fourth, so which is a wave and figure eight lock step, will go under the legato action, all right? So let's look closer to our first lock step, to the progressive lock step. Okay, progressive lockstep. So when we are dancing progressive lockstep, we have to transfer our full body weight right away over the foot. Two and three and four and five, right? So full body weight means that both of your centers, center of your gravitation and center of your levitation has to be right away on the straight line over the foot after you finish the step, right? Two and three and four. So this action allow us to make a biggest amount of movement, right? Progressive movement. Okay, so second important thing, second purpose for this lock step is to show the staccato action in our hips. So our hips in this lock step moves in the pendulum manner. So we move them forward, back, forward, back forward, back, right? Pendulum manner allows us to 
move the hips on the straight line from point A to point B without any other curves, right? So that showing off in the best way the staccato action in hips, right? Two and three and four and five. Okay, so staccato action in this lockstep are in the feet, in the knees, and as well in our hips, plus with the biggest amount of movement. As well, progressive lobster, <laughs> lobster. As well, progressive lockstep is probably one of the most commonly used one. You're gonna use it the most just because it's good to have a good amount of progression and good way to show your staccato in the hip. So let me demonstrate this one more time. So we go two and three and four and one. And on the other side, two and three and four and one. All right, awesome, moving on. So second type of a lockstep is the merengue lockstep. So merengue lockstep is basically based on merengue action, Ta -da! right? So what's merengue action? Merengue action is the movement of our hip in opposition from our body. Two, three, four, one, right? Basic merengue action. So when we dance in uh, a merengue lockstep, <coughs> our hip moves away from the body. So we move forward, but hip moves back, okay? And then we're doing, um, collecting our knees, and then back, and back, and back, and back. So this action in the hip, not allowing us for best progressive movement, because this action means that we are moving in the split weight, right? So we're making step and our weight is distributed between both feet, all right? And then we're locking back, 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 yes? So, but still our hips moves in the pendulum action, but with the accent away from our movement, away, back, 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 back. All right, so this way of doing lockstep, the merengue way is, uh, as well, pretty commonly used way of dancing this figure. The best way to do it is in the shadow position, two and three and four. So when uh, both partners move with the same foot in one direction, yes? So as well, Ilya Danilov in his lecture mentioned that this is not the best way, so merengue lockstep is not the best way of lockstep to do in the closed basic when one of the partner moves back and another partner moves forward. So when the lady, let's say, moves back, she uses the hip action back. She cannot move her hip forward. That's exactly the reason that when we dance the closed basic, we have to use a progressive lockstep to be in the logical synchronization with our partner instead of being on opposition. So I hope that makes sense. All right, so third and fourth way of doing lockstep will go under the legato category of doing the lockstep, okay? So um, legato means smooth and connected. So third way of doing lockstep is wave lockstep, right? So right away, we understand that probably we cannot really show the staccato action when we do in wave, but we can show a beautiful smooth lines and we can connect our whole body when we're doing this lockstep, right? This lockstep comes from the samba and um, yes, probably the best way to do it is half tempo uh, as well to show the difference, to show the contrast, okay? Good, so in the, in the wave lockstep we move in the wave manner, two and three and four, right? So our upper body creates smooth wave action, but still in our feet and knees, we are showing staccato. Staccato is everywhere in our feet. Ta and ta and ta and right? Good. So that leads us to the last way of doing lockstep, the fourth way, which is the figure eight. Same thing with the figure eight. Figure eight cannot be a staccato. Our 
lines are smooth when we're moving around figure eight. So same thing in this, in this lockstep is designed to show the difference, to show contrast, to show beautiful hip movement around the figure eight. So in the figure eight, we have to move the hip in the like forward and around manner. Then we're locking our feet in the check position, moving hip back and so on and so on. Figure eight, figure eight, figure eight. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, figure eight, figure eight, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Yay! All right, guys, so this is our four different types of lockstep and quick demonstration and explanation where is the best way to use them and what is the difference between them. But besides that, I still think that the most important idea uh, in this video is to remind you that you guys are learning an amazing, difficult skill, ballroom dancing, right? So our goal in the dancing is to show and interpret, 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 to do the interpretation of uh, music. And there is definitely not only one way of doing it. So let's be open, let's be excited about this. This is an amazing thing what we do and I want to encourage you to keep doing what you're doing. Enjoy yourself, enjoy dancing. Please take care and of course, subscribe to my channel and as well, please check out my Instagram if you would like to see some behind the scenes stories. All right, guys, thank you very much. Take care, I will see you soon. Ooh.